This video is gonna show you the steps that I take with every single AI automation client that we work with at our agency and show you how to best plan out every single job. This is gonna be a very actionable video and it should help a lot of you because it helps me and my agency every single day and it helps us portray our vision and the end goal to every single client that we work with. So when it comes to delivering for your client, first is that pre-planning stage and really identifying exactly how your solution can help them, what is the core purpose of that solution, and ultimately what you need to then build for it. And then secondly, it's how are you gonna be able to deliver on that? Is it even possible? Are you selling something that isn't even within your realm of capability? And this whole process I'm about to walk through with you today is gonna to solve that. So yeah. Let's jump straight into it. It's hot as fuck in London right now. I'm breaking out like a 12 year old kid pre-puberty. This is not the life I wanna live. So when it comes to planning your client's project, when it comes to identifying exactly what you're gonna build and deliver, I highly recommend you come and use Miro.com. Now Miro.com is a super, super simple piece of software. This isn't a paid sponsorship video, don't worry. It's just me giving my honest thoughts because I use it every single day. So what does it help me out with? Well, it helps me put my thoughts onto paper, essentially. Although it's not physical paper, it comes with a nice handy shareable link that I can then send to clients. But what it does, it allows me to build out the structure of every single chatbot that we build before actually taking it to our dev team to then go and build it. There's two reasons why this is helpful. Number one, we can share this with our client and we can build it out together. So it's more of a cooperative procedure where it's not just us going away, building about spending time doing that and then coming back to our client and saying, hey, we hope you like it and you know, trying to guess everything in between. Rather than that, it's actually us saying, hey, this is the first round of structure that we've built for you guys. What do you think of this? Can you give some feedback? Are there any other questions there that you think that you need or want to add? And then they can go ahead, they can jump on this mirror board and they can actually edit it. They can add feedback or they can give you changes via email for you to then implement that feedback. Now, secondly, we work with an array of different developers. Some developers speak better English than others. That's just the facts. So when we are doing these projects and we're working with these different developers, one of the key things for us to ensure that we get a good product first time round is to ensure that we give them a clear instruction and a clear brief. So if we've got a mirror board that's already been signed off with the flow and the logic of a client's build already, then it's way easier. They can just follow every single word that we put in there and they can just replicate that into any chatbot platform that they're building on or any custom code build that they end up building. So without further ado, I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna show you how I would build out an example chatbot for a client inside of a mirror board. You can follow along, copy and steal exactly what I do because this is going to be a game changer for you. So we're gonna come down to mirror board and we're just gonna hit shape. So this is essentially our start. So let's give this some color, get rid of the stroke, let's give it a blue color, make this big. I'm a bit zoomed out there, so let's make this a bit smaller. So this is the start of our chatbot. Now we don't have to overcomplicate this. For this example, we are gonna be building a bot for a kid's football club. And this kid's football club is going to use this bot to essentially sign new members and new kids up to their training. It's gonna live on their website. We can copy and paste this. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna build like a fake bot. So we're gonna lay out all the structure. Now the reason why we do it inside a mirror board is it's way easier than doing it inside a voice flow or bot press or whatever bot builder you're using. So let's start with our first message. Hey, thanks for showing interest in Kingsford Football Club. We have some questions before we can proceed with your sign up. Cool, we've got that, we can copy and paste it. And this is gonna be our next section. So we're now gonna to wanna to ask our users specific questions to then feed them into different aspects of our chatbot. So here we go. How old is the child that will be enrolling into our academy? I used to do these football classes when I was a kid. It's like uh, you go there for a weekend and they train you and it's like 100 quid or something. It obviously didn't work because I'm still shit as at football, but here we are talking about chatbots on YouTube. Good times. Let's copy and paste this. We're now gonna do some multiple choice. So let's say this football club has ages between six to 10 years, and then they have 10 to 14 years, and then they have 16 to 18 years. Maybe not 16 to 18, let's do 14 to 16. And this is probably a bit too big of a gap. So let's do eight to 12. And then we can start connecting these up just like we would do in a chatbot builder there we go so what's helpful is if you usually change the color of multiple choice so you can identify and add a key almost to keep track of 
what different options there are. So our bot starts, it explains that we're going to need more information, then says how old is the child that will be enrolled into our academy. And now the next step is great to hear you are looking to enroll your child into our academy and say that this is going to be a variable. So these are saved out as variables, just like you would. For those of you who don't know what a variable is, a name, an email address, a age group, whatever it is, that is going to be a variable. If it's something that is personalized and custom to the user of that bot, that is then saved as a variable and can be saved in kind of like the memory and the knowledge of the bot throughout the use of that specific person who's using that bot at that time. So that all goes to there. And now we have another question. What is the skill level of your child? And we can do another group of multiple choice, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Now what we can do is start to split these multiple choice out. For example, we can say if they are advanced, then we can now come down to this aspect of the chatbot. If they're intermediate, they can come to this section. And if they are beginners, we can split out the conversation into a completely different direction. So we can now build out different chatbots depending on the skill level and we can come off from here. And this is where it kind of has the big split. Now we could do that, but in this case, I'm not gonna build out a super complex bot. So I'm actually just gonna keep one here and I'm gonna say, does your child currently play for a football club? Sorry, I'll zoom in. I know some of you hate it when I'm zoomed out. And then we can say customer enters information, chatbot saves response as response. So not only are we building out the text formatting, but we're actually building out logic inside of this bot too. We're gonna to change that because that is an AI sort of action. And we're gonna use red as our display of AI action, if you like. That moves along. AI responds, confirming child's football club from last response. So now what I wanna do is now I want to give the user some information on pricing. So chatbot provides pricing information depending on the skill level and age group of the child. And that's done with AI. So we'll make that red. And then we can ask to proceed. Please provide your email and full name. Drag that across. Done. And then we got a copy another AI action. So this time response is saved as details. And then we can just say bot sends user to payment link from knowledge base based on skill level and age. So then inside of the knowledge base of this bot, we can have it so that different age groups and different skill levels have different prices associated to them and different links to those pages for processing and joining. So look, this chatbot is not complex. Obviously, this video doesn't need to be 40 minutes long. I'm just showing you how we do it inside of a mirror board and how we lay this out. You can see it takes way less time building it in this than it would a chatbot. And the best thing about this is you take this to your client first and then they come back and they can work on it with you and say, hey, look, we actually need to collect this information. And it's a case of copying and pasting, dragging and dropping and saying, all right, we'll build that out and we'll test how that could work. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of some big bots that we've built. This is a big hotel concierge bot, all built out through Miro. And we send this to the developers and they use it. They give us feedback, they write it down. And what's really cool is we can actually copy this and hit this AI button. I've already done it, but it gives you a summary of the bot too. This bot is a digital concierge. It assess guests with hotel bookings, transfers and local attractions, offers upgrades, early check-in and onboard information, provides personalized responses and sends API calls to booking platforms. Let's do it with our football bot. Let's hit this, summarize. This chat bot collects customer information information and provides pricing based on skill level and age for Kingsford Football Club. Ta-da, perfect. And if we come back on over here, you can see that I have a few other bots built here. I have a B2B bot and I have a couple of e-commerce bots. Now, if you are in the network and if you're in the inner circle, you will have me building out these completely live inside of your course. So make sure you check that out. But otherwise, that is it from me today. I hope this video has helped you. Please, please, please use this method. It's gonna save you so much pain and time and it's an absolute game changer when it comes to building your AI automation agency. Now, if you did want free resources, including different AI bot templates, then make sure you click the link down below, get your free resources. And if you want to join our private community where we jump on weekly calls and we talk to you directly and help you build your AI automation agency, then also click the link down below. There's limited spots, so make sure you're fast. Hope this helped. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.